Hey guys, it's Jen. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another grocery haul and meal plan. So this is week four of our pantry and freezer challenge. If you're new to my channel, uh, my name is Jen. I'm a full-time working mom and I post lots of grocery hauls, meal plans, meal prep, working mom vlogs, that kind of stuff. But during the month of April, myself and a fellow YouTuber, Vanessa from Lemonade Mom, I'll link her channel down below, we have been challenging ourselves to make our meal plans based off of what we already have in our freezer and pantry and buy as little at the grocery store as possible. She set a goal of spending less than $300 this month at the grocery store and I wanted to spend less than $400 or about $100 a week, which is honestly about half of what I normally spend. So. Um, this will be uh, the, the last week, like I said. If you're interested in checking out those other videos, I'll uh, leave a link in the description box below to both her channel and then um, some of the videos that I've done as well. So today I'm at Walmart. Tomorrow is actually Easter, but we are postponing, postponing our family Easter dinner to the following weekend because Adam's mom um, just had surgery and so we wanted to give everyone a chance to heal. <laughs> before we did our Easter dinner. So we're gonna do it next weekend. We are going out for brunch tomorrow with my family, but obviously I won't have to buy anything for that, which is nice. So today I'm just gonna be getting groceries for the work week for us. And then I also need to get the kids Easter stuff because I haven't gotten that yet. And the Easter Bunny's coming tonight, right? So <laughs> I need to work on that. But I will not be counting my Easter stuff in, like I won't be counting those gifts and stuff in with my grocery budget, obviously. I'll just be counting the food in my grocery budget. So I'm gonna run into the store. I may run to Hy-Vee afterwards and get a couple things that are on sale there, just depending on what I can find here. But when I get home, I will show you everything I bought. Okay, so I just got back from Walmart. I did not end up going to Hy-Vee. Uh, I am proud to report that I almost stayed under budget. My final total for the grocery part was $102. So I will take it for the last week of this pantry challenge. So let me show you what I got. I didn't have to get much produce today because I still had quite a bit left over from last week. I still have um, some grapes in there that I didn't wash and some other things. So um, we're, we're good on a lot of that, but I did have to pick up a few things. So uh, well, first, let me get this out of the way. I did get a six pack of the Angry Orchard Rose. A six pack, yeah, six pack abs. <laughs> um, we are gonna grill out tonight, and so I thought that sounded refreshing. Um, I got some bananas, those are green, but that's how I usually get them because then they can ripen throughout the week. I did get a five pound bag of potatoes. There's a few meals that I'm gonna make this week that call for potatoes. And I have a few in the pantry, but not quite enough, so I grabbed those. We were totally out of apples, so I got some of the Golden Delicious, or like Connor calls these green apples. He really likes them, so I grabbed those. I got a head of iceberg lettuce. Um, I got some broccoli, so this will be for a dinner this week. I grabbed one package of strawberries. These look pretty good and they were like, I think maybe two something a pound. And then I also got some tomatoes. I've been liking to buy these from Walmart. I actually think they're really good. These are the Mighty Vine brand and obviously not like, you know, midsummer Iowa tomatoes, but they're pretty decent for um, April <laughs> in the Midwest. So I grabbed those. And then I want to do um, like pork chops and hot dogs on the grill tonight. Um, tonight's Saturday and it's about 5.30 so we'll be eating um, soon sometime here. But I got these, I didn't actually know they had these at Walmart, but they are cubed pork loin. So these are basically like if you get a grilled tenderloin sandwich, this is what they are. So it's a sliced pork loin run through a cuber so it tenderizes it. And what I like to do is season these. Um, and then put them on the grill and they make really good like pork tenderloin sandwiches. Um, I grabbed some strawberry cream cheese because I bought bagels for everyone at work yesterday um, from Panera and I have quite a few left over. So I brought them home and some of them are sweet bagels and so I wanted some sweet cream cheese to go with that. Um, I picked up some yogurts for myself. We actually went to Costco today and I got um, some Go-Gurts for the kids, like the Go-Gurt Simple, so I didn't need any for them. But for myself, I just got the Strawberry Noosa, the Lemon Noosa, and then this uh, Light and Fit Crunch. It's the Strawberry Cheesecake, so I usually like to take those um, for breakfast or a snack at work during the week. 
I got some of these um, sharp cheddar cheese um, little snack cheeses and then some uh, of the Oscar Mayer natural um, turkey breast. I normally like to buy usually my lunch meat um, from the deli at Hy-Vee, but since I wasn't going there today, I just decided to grab those. This is good as well. Um, we don't use margarine for a whole lot, but we do use it like on toast. Um, if we make toast for breakfast or sometimes like if I make grilled cheese, I'll use this just because it's more convenient. And we were totally out, so I grabbed that. And then this is another thing that you don't hardly see me buy. Usually I make my pasta salads fresh, but since um, I was running short on time tonight, I just grabbed this macaroni salad. And this is quite a large container. It was only like 268, I think. So I'm not sure how it tastes. I've never had it before, but I thought it would go well with the um, pork chops for tonight. Uh, I grabbed some orange juice. We like to keep that on hand for breakfast. And then the kids really like the Fairlife chocolate milk. Um, and this actually is really good as far as chocolate milk goes. It is um, reduced sugar. Um, so it only has 12 grams of sugar per cup. And usually I only give them half a cup um, with their breakfast, but they really like that. I got a half gallon of 2% milk. Usually that's what we go through every week. And then last week I did not get my Ocean Spray Ruby Red Grapefruit Juice, so I wanted to make sure I got that this week because I like to drink that in the mornings before work. I got some half and half for my coffee, and then for Adam's coffee I got him some of the sugar-free um, French Vanilla Coffee Mate. And then I also grabbed him some of these Bang Energy drinks. I just got three of them. I got a blue raz, a sour heads, and a power punch. Um, I was totally out of kosher salt, and so actually last weekend when I was doing my meal prep, I had to use like the fine salt, and I was like, I'm not used to that. I'm used to cooking with kosher salt, and so I actually um, picked up a box of that. And then I told Adam this is what put me over budget. <laughs> Just kidding. This is like three, three something, so it's a little bit expensive, but there's like four cups of nacho cheese in there, and um, sometimes he likes to have that on hand for like dipping tortilla chips or pretzels. Um, this is another thing that I haven't had on hand in a while, and I guess I really could have skipped this, but um, I bought it anyway because it's only $1.77, so you get eight of these little... Um, peanut butter to go cups and these are good to like put in the kids lunches excuse you to put in the kids lunches with um, like pretzels or a banana or sometimes I take them them to work with an apple you can have apples and peanut butter and then I also got some of the great value Nutrigrain bars so I've actually watched some taste testing videos on YouTube where this brand is actually tasted better than the Nutrigrain brand and it's like a dollar cheaper so I thought the kids could try those. They can take them for snacks or um, have them for breakfast. Uh, I grabbed them some of the Capri Sun Roaring Waters for their lunches and then for bread I got just a loaf of the Sarah Lee Honey Wheat Bread. That's the bread we like for sandwiches and then I got a package of hamburger buns, a package of hot dog buns. Um, these deli style potato wedges are in the frozen section at Walmart and they're really good uh, to have for like a side for dinner especially if you put them in the air fryer they turn out really delicious and it's super cheap for this whole bag um, I got some flour because I was almost almost out of flour and I had no more in the pantry um, I got a bag of the baked and popped mix so this is like the healthier sort of brand of bag chips so they have like baked lays baked cheetos baked ruffles um, the white cheddar popcorn and then pretzels and then this is like the third time I've bought these um, cheddar and sour cream potato chips this is a Walmart brand but they actually taste just as good or better than the cheddar and sour cream ruffles so if you like those I would encourage you to try these this whole big bag is less than two dollars which is way cheaper than the ruffles brand um, and then I did get a box of frozen shrimp. Um, we will have that for dinner some night this week, and I'll probably make salmon for the kids when we have that because they don't particularly like shrimp. And then lastly, I just got some um, ice cream sandwiches. This is the Walmart brand, just the Neapolitan. Um, we let the kids have dessert on the weekends, and so this package of 12 was $1.98. So that is everything I got at the store uh, today. So I'm up in my office and I'm going to show you what I have on the menu plan or meal plan for this week. Um, I do um, mention this every so often and I always have a link in my description box below, but 
This menu planner or meal planner with the tear off grocery lists is by Carrie L. And I always have her site linked in the description box below. And then I also have a discount code if you're interested in that. But whoop, hold on, I accidentally turned my computer on here. Um, so yeah, it's, it's really nice. I love it. I love her meal planners. So, uh, today is Sunday. Uh, we went out for brunch, uh, for Easter today with my family. So that meal was taken care of. I have down, I'm not sure if I'm going to do this tonight or a different night. The other thing I wanted to mention is like some nights I have exactly what is on the meal plan for that night and other nights I switch around. The night when you have it is not important. You know, I just always try to stick to it and have all the meals. So, uh, we might have this tonight. We might not. I'm not sure. I am going to make some vegetable beef soup in the instant pot and sandwiches. We have like turkey and ham to use up in the refrigerator. And I have some of that leftover, um, made right meat from last week. And that works perfectly in vegetable beef soup. So that's a good way to use that up. On Monday, I have down to make crock pot salsa chicken. So either we can have tacos or bowls or salad with that. And then I have some cilantro lime dressing that I made last week left over so we can use that up. So typically how I make this is I just put some chicken breasts in the crock pot with a little bit of taco seasoning and then whatever green salsa that you want, or you could use red salsa too. Tuesday I have uh, to make tomato soup and grilled cheese. So I do have some cans of Campbell's tomato soup in the pantry to use up grilled cheese and then maybe just some cooked broccoli and carrots. Wednesday I have baked salmon, shrimp, and baked potatoes and frozen vegetables. So Adam uh, does not really care for salmon, but he likes shrimp and the kids like salmon, but don't like shrimp. <laughs> I like both of them. So I'll just make up a couple uh, pieces of salmon in the air fryer. Um, the shrimp I'll probably do in the air fryer too. They're just like the frozen breaded shrimp and then baked potatoes in the oven and then like a frozen veggie on the side. Um, it's, it is getting nicer out. So I have one night to make hamburgers and hot dogs on the grill with chips and fruit. And then I have some macaroni salad in the fridge we can use. Uh, Friday, we either go out or have pizza. And then I don't really plan ahead to Saturday, although I am thinking about making some ham croquettes, which is like an old family recipe. And if I do, I'll film that. Um, but that is what is on the meal plan for this week. And I wanted to just go back to the list that I made at the beginning of the month. And I did get quite a few things crossed off and made. So I'm pretty happy with myself. Obviously I didn't get all of these meals made, but this, this stuff is still in the freezer in the pantry. So I can continue to pull, um, inspiration from this list, uh, next month as well. Okay. So that completes, uh, the pantry and freezer challenge for the month of April that both Vanessa and I were doing. Um, I just want to thank you guys for following along. If you did it also along with us, let me know how you did. I was really happy with myself. I stayed around my $400 budget for this month, which was awesome for me. I actually think I'm just going to go go ahead and continue this for the next couple weeks because I think that's one thing that I got out of the habit of was really just like checking to see what I had in the house before I made my meal plan. Um, so I think I'm going to continue that because I am noticing that I'm saving money on groceries and obviously getting things used up that are in the pantry and fridge before their expiration date. So don't forget to check out Vanessa's channel too. I'll have her link in the description box below, but again, thank you so much for following us. Uh, I do want to do this, like I said, continuing on, and then maybe I'll do another sort of more robust um, pantry and freezer challenge um, sometime later this year. So I will see you in my next video. Bye.